She looked at Jungkook unknowingly, then looked down. Why, I do. Wish you may kiss the bride. She glanced at Jungkook unknowingly, clearly showing that she didn't like his lips touching hers. As Jungkook moved in the furthest, he noticed her discomfort. She didn't close her eyes in shyness. Instead, she openly expressed her dislike for the kiss. He whispered something to her. Jungkook, please tilt your head. She didn't do as he said. But he blocked all the sight of his back and pretended to be her. He moved away from her after a few seconds. Later, she looked away, and her dad came closer to her and kissed her forehead and patting her head, emotional. Jungkook just looked at them silently. Why, Dad? I know my daughter can do anything for his dad. Happiness welled up in his eyes, but held back tears, speaking softly. Jungkook, he came forward politely. Please take care of her. If she does anything trouble to you, please try to understand. Before Jungkook could respond, his mom spoke, and everyone looked at her. Jungkook mom, just by seeing her, we can understand how mature she is. So don't think if she feel bother or not. But I can surely say that Jungkook will bother her with his childish behavior. She shrugged her shoulders and winked a smile. Winked. Then my Wayan will have fun with him every day. He will make her happy. Jungkook mom, definitely he will. Take care of her, Jungkook. Winded. He got married. At least be with for them for a few days. Why are you staying in another home? Just then, Wayan understood that his mom is not living with him. Jungkook mom, because I can't leave my own home, which is in the village, and my husband built it with himself, and our mamas are tied to their home, and I can't leave it as long as I am still alive. I also can't force Jungkook to come with me because he has an office work here and he is an adult with many responsibilities and we are both happy with our arrangements. We always meet with each other when he has a free time. After some time of talking, Jungkook and looked at Wine, but Wine didn't even try to look at him. She directly ignored him, but they all thought she was shy. But it was not the case. After the wedding ceremony ended, Jungkook took Wai into his home. Seeing other, she showed no interest. But they don't talk to each other too. Jungkook was admiring her while she was looking around for something for on her face. Then her eyes met his. But he also smiled at her awkwardly. But she looked away as if she saw a stranger flirting with her. Jungkook's awkward smile faded sadly. Jungkook, Wai, she said nothing. Just ignored him as if he wasn't there beside her. Jungkook, why don't please try to understand once? She ignored him again and called someone else. Why? Is there anyone in this house? He looked at her sadly, noticing how much she had turned into a cold person. Minbal, an old maid, came from the corridor. The old lady maid smiled at when she saw Jungkook and his wife. Maid, yes, ma'am. Why? Where is the bedroom? Jungkook, the bedroom is on the left side. Even though she heard, she just looking at the maid with no expression. Why? I want another bedroom. Show me. The maid was fully confused. Why would she want another room when Jungkook has a room? But she looked at Jungkook and he gestured to another bedroom. Then the maid nodded and looked at Wan. Maid, please come this way. I will show you, ma'am. Wan clutching her wedding gown and started following the maid who was guiding her way. But Jungkook looked at his wife until she left from there. Maid, ma'am, should I bring you a luggage to his room or Mr. Jungkook's room? Wan, also there is a driver, right? Tell him to get my luggage and arrange them here, not in someone else's room. The maid saw kindness in Wan's request, as Wan had simply asked for the driver to fetch her luggage, not the maid. The maid was an old lady, so, and Wan respected her age, avoiding asking her to perform heavy tasks. But she looked at Wan with blank expression. She had expected the wedding couple to be happy, but she understood that something was happening. She nodded and left the room. Wan saw herself in the mirror wearing a bridal dress. She paid no attention to her reflection, but felt it bad. Something different made her suffer more. She removed the veil and hair clips from her hair and threw them angrily. She didn't like seeing herself in the dress. She broke the mirror by throwing a flower vase harshly. Hearing the noise, Chango rushed to her room and saw Wan near the broken mirror. He worriedly went to her, thinking she got hurt. But she stopped when she turned back because she didn't want to see his face. Jungkook, why did you get hurt? She didn't reply. She wanted to him leave from there, but he didn't understand. Asked her again. 
Jungle, Vine, please answer me. I am worrying about you. Vine, shut your fake drama. She turned to him, face him, and his eyes ached when he saw angry tears in her eyes. Do you even know what for it means? If you do, what do you know about being for it? He hesitated, looking at her. Let me tell you how it feels. A girl touched her boyfriend and allowed him to do whatever he wants. But after she did it, he left her while she was asleep. When she woke up and looked around, and he wasn't there, she got worried and called his name, thinking he was somewhere close. But she received no response. Then she called him, but he didn't answer. And her worry increased. Her eyes welled up with tears. Her mind raced with irrational thoughts, and her heart pounded rapidly. And why he couldn't answer the call? Jungkook, why, please? I have already asked you. I am sorry. Please try to forget what happened and kindly forgive me. Why, kindly? How can you ask this? If you were in my place, would you forgive a guy who showed fake love and used your body and left you without caring about you? And how would you feel if you wake up in your bed with a blanket around you? His eyes filled with tears as he listened to her describe as her terrible experience. Jango, I didn't think about it too deeply. I thought it wouldn't have that much impact on you, that you would move on easily from someone else. But when I saw your gift, when what the heck are you saying? How could I move on when I loved a guy more than myself, but he used my body? She was yelling those painfully hurtful words at his face, tears still flowing. He wanted to wipe them, but hug him and show his cancer, but he couldn't because he she wasn't the same as before. Because of you, I locked myself in the same room. I really had a hard time in the darkness. I even went through depression and wanted to die due not to being able to forget our moments together. But I couldn't because I have my dad who is living his life with hope in me. Why would I die for someone who doesn't love me? I can't live because I have a dad who loves me. Jungkook, I understand how you face this. Please punish me. I'll bear anything. He tried to come forward, extending his hand to beg. But she screamed loudly. Why? Don't come near me. I can't even bear it. When your shadow falls on me, Jungkook stopped and also stepped back. Jungkook, I'm sorry, Wayne. Please try to understand. Please don't cry. Wayne, how? Jungkook, how you have ruined me and broke my heart, made my life such a that I can only suffer and cry, unable to smile, still crying. Jungkook couldn't say another word while seeing Wayne cry because of you. Wayne, get out. Jungkook, when I wanted to tell you so much, please. When I hate what you wanted to say, I hate hearing your voice, I hate seeing your face, I completely hate you leaving. She was crying, saying Jungkook couldn't see her face like that. He left as she asked. Then she closed the doors and windows of the room. She sat on the floor, bringing her knees against her chest, while her eyes were pouring with tears. This is the exact moment when she dully locks herself in darkness and placing her head on her knees, suffering deeply. Why did she have to meet him again? And why did she have to marry the one who cheated on her? It's really hard to move on when the person she wants to forget is her husband, and she might have loved him before. But when he revealed his true self, that love died in that moment. In fact, she also died inside. She killed her happiness and made herself as cold as a stone.